Okay, campers, here we go. You can see that I drew a title box and a little smiley face there. And I'll just quickly walk you through how I did it. Uh, settings, design file, working units. I used inches and inches accuracy of three decimal places. I drew a box. I'm just using the measure tool here, number nine. Left click again. Ten and a half inches wide, seven and a half inches high. I right click to get out of that. So that gives me a, a box that'll fit within half inch margins on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Then I drew a vertical line here, which happens to be two and a half inches away from the edge. I'll delete it just to show you how I did it. And I use the tentative button to snap to that corner, which is the middle mouse button or both at the same time depending on how you're set up. Hit the O key, move over to the left and I'll type in with my other hand 2.5 left click. That starts the line there. I roll the mouse to zoom out. If I hold the shift key down and drag with the mouse, I can pan down that way. And I'll hit the enter key and then click to that. There's that line. And then I just put in text. I can use the change text attributes key to, to look at what they are and then change them if I want to. If I click on this one, I just changed it to a text style of 125 centered. I didn't really want to do that. I hit control Z to go back. Um, what I do have is I set up several different styles uh, which correlate to different sizes of text like 100 is a tenth of an inch I think 125, 200, 300, 400 you can see how the height is 0.125 so that matches it and then I have centered and left types of styles. Uh, if we go out of that, switch to what was it, edit text, where is that one right there? And I pick this one that's in 300 centered. So I just use a center to center justification with a 300 size. And that's pretty much what I did with all the other text here too. You know, if you start with that and you do center to center then when you grab it like if you select it grab it where is that let me do the move tool or copy copy's good copy you can just move things up and center them someplace makes it easy in fact that's how i did these lines i drew one horizontal line and then i just moved up typed in a number like half an inch half an inch half an inch and copied and pasted those lines in Ah, check this out. The Caterpillar D7E Diesel Electric Hybrid Dozer. Pretty sweet looking machine. And it saves a lot of fuel. So what we're going to work on now is printing stuff uh, using a pen table. A uh, pen table used to be a very practical thing when we had plotters that picked literally mechanically pick different pens as it plotted stuff out but we don't have to do that anymore but we have still the equivalent stuff so I'm just deleting all this out and then I'm gonna draw some lines we'll just draw like a four inch long line in white and then let's draw a four inch long line in blue all right so I didn't type that in but that's okay Horse long line in green. Maybe I want to line up with that. Oh. Move down an inch. Left click. Move over four. Left click. So now I have three lines. A white, a blue, and a green. And let's print it. Hit file print. And you can see on the preview screen that they come out black on white so it switches from white on black to black on white when you print we've already figured that out but the others are in color now the reason we usually do it in color is to change the line weight so I'm gonna do is open a pen table hit 
pen table new. And I'm going to make, let's see, what should we call this? We'll call it like uh, CAE 101 printing letter size. Just kind of a long file name, but it gives you the right idea. And then you edit, insert new section below, and I'm going to have one called white. And we'll do the same thing for blue. If I could type blue. And then one more for green. Okay. I'm going to delete this one. So, because it works from top to bottom. So it looks for criteria to hit. So the first one I'm calling white because I'm going to have it pick the color white. So everything that's in the color white will select that way. Same thing with blue will be blue. Green will be green. Okay, so that's the element selection criteria. On the element output, we can pick how it puts that on paper. So the white ones I want to do as color white, which comes out black, and a width, let's say that's going to be my heaviest one. And this is for demonstration purposes, I'll pick a, pick a fatty right there by index 10. In the blue, same thing, I'll do it in black and white width somewhere in the middle, like that. And then for green, we'll do the lightest one. Okay, like that. I save it, close it, go back to the print dialog, and attach a pen table. CIE 101 printing letter size. I hit the paint button there, and you can see it all turned black and white. And now let's print it to see what happens. And I don't know, we'll call it like week five test. All right. Now I got to switch to look at that file where it printed out. Week five test. And there it is. It's kind of off your screen. But you can see that the the white line is the thickest, the blue line is medium, and the green line is smaller. So that's how you can control how thick the lines are. Okay. So that's probably not going to look very good in our sheet of paper, so I should go back and modify my pen table. So if we just go pen table edit, I go back into the white one, output action, instead of 10, maybe I'll make that like, I don't know, 3 blue make that like one and the green one will make the lightest we'll leave it just like that file save what i probably should have done is done a uh, fence before i even got into this so let's do that we'll fence it just like that left click both sides file print Pen table attach. Attach that pen table I just made. Print. Library CI 101. Week 5 test. We'll replace it and we'll see what that looks like. That's better. The line weights are a little bit nicer. That way we can differenti differentiate between uh, different parts of the drawing and make it look good. Close out of that. Switch back to MicroStation. So what I'd really like is for the title block to all print out in light line type. So what I'll do is use the select tool, select all, change elephant attributes, green, left click once, do the selection. So all that will print out in nice light lines now. 